So I'm going to begin the technology committee meeting today for Tuesday, June 20th. Um, town order and roll call, please. Berlin. Here. Cahill. Here. Carrier. Here. Eckhoff. Galassi. Here. Gustin. Here. Henry. Here. Kesmeri. Here. Mendrick. Rutledge. Here. White. Here. You. Here. Thank you. So we do have a quorum. Um, so quick remarks. I just want to remind people to complete their cybersecurity training if you have not finished it. I just finished my assessment and the training. Uh, I think it was yesterday or Sunday. Um, so I broke my promise to you, Anthony. <laughs> I did it two days late. Um, so please remember to do that. And also stay tuned for project updates at our next technology meeting, uh, hopefully in July. Right. Okay, any, I, there is no public comment. So I'm going to move to the approval of minutes, item 23-2165. Can I get so a motion second. for those minutes from Tuesday, May 16, 2023? I didn't get a motion, I heard a second. Um, any discussion <coughs> or changes to these minutes? Hearing none. Um, oh, and remember, Eckhoff just walked in. And um, any, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, thank you very much. So moving on to procurement requisitions, item TEP 005523. Can I please get a motion for a recommendation for the approval of a contract purchase order to AT and Mobility for the annual licensing and maintenance of AirWatch mobile device management for IT? This contract covers the period of July 1, 2023 so through 2024 for a contract total amount of $34,860. dollars Question. Uh, yes, any discussion? Uh, AirWatch mobile. Is that, or is that something else? It's something else. So, <laughs> so the mobile device management allows for us to track all of our cell phones. If we're unable to retrieve it from an employee or someone else, where they lose it, we can remotely log into it, wipe it clean, so that they can't get access to our data. Mm -hmm. yeah. See something cool? I didn't yeah. know. Very <laughs> important, I have to say. But it allows us to track all of those, which is very. Important. Um, yes, and there was um, some interesting tidbit about this that we purchased this after the San Bernardino shooting. Yep. Is that right? Yeah, it was directly after that incident. That was probably not the only uh, impetus, but um, the main thing that uh, made us know that we needed to do that to be able to track phones, no matter what's happening with you, you guys or whoever has a phone. Any other discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. This passes. Uh, moving on to item TEP 005623. Can I please have a motion for recommendation for the approval so of contracts on this order to Shy International Corp for the procurement of VMware licensing to update the county's current virtual infrastructure for IT? This contract covers three years, the period of July 17, 2023 through July 16, 2026, for a contract total amount of $500,947.91. Um, any discussion with regard to this? Yes. yes. How long have we contracted with this company? Uh, for, I have to defer to my guys in the back, but at least for a few years. VM, yeah, 10, 10 years. Or 10 or 10 years. VMware is the number, number one virtual uh, solution out there. So. Are they the only source? No, they're not the only source, but they're the number one source for us. Um, our entire infrastructure is VMware, so for us to replace it would cost us a ton of money. So, we, no, we don't want to do that. For those of you who don't know what VM technology is, it essentially allows for us to take a physical device and split it into multiple sections so that we don't have to buy all that physical hardware. So if you haven't been to our data center, you'll notice, for those of you who've done a tour, that um, the entire room is very large, but there's a, lot, a small section now of, of computers. That's because of virtual technology. So you don't have to have those big physical servers anymore. You can split up a server into multiple devices. It allows you to use it for multiple groups. So it wow. saves us tons of, sorry, tons of money overall in hardware, maintenance and repair and replacement every four to five years. Thank you. Um, I also want to remark that we are saving 87000 over $87,000 by uh, doing this three-year contract. So this yeah, is good. Thank you, Madam Chair. But uh, to her point, uh, the reason why we're doing a three-year renewal, not a one-year, is to save that money. So if we do year-to-year, -year, then it would cost us that additional 87000 over the three-year renewal. So we're Great. saving where we can. Any other discussion or questions? Hearing none, um, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Great, thank you very much for that. Um, we're moving on to old business. Any old business, Anthony? Uh, 
Uh, nope. Did you want me to give an update on the ERP? Yes. Okay. So ERP, uh, just to remind the committee, um, you know, we've done all, a lot of big projects over the past year and a half with the uh, launch of our property tax application, the launch of our uh, permitting system with, uh, through Macella and then the new website. Now, ERP will take up a lot of time over the next two years. We recently, in the last board meeting, approved the new application for HR payroll. So uh, on Actuate and Ceridian, Ceridian is the implementation partner. On Actuate is the actual application. Uh, other way. Other, oh, sorry, I always mix those two up. <laughs> Ceridian, I did that to you. Ceridian is the, thank you, is the uh, application and on Actuate is the implementation partner. But we started in August with the implementation of that portion. Um, we call it ERP part one and part two. Part two would be finance systems. Typically, in most organizations, you do one implementation and it includes everything, right? So HR payroll plus finance. We're breaking it out. Uh, I think it's going to work out for us. So our goal is to focus on HR payroll for the next year. And then once we're done with that implementation, immediately after start finance, <clears throat> this is part two. Thank you. That's the update that I wanted. Um, okay. Any other old business before I move on to new business? Yes. I don't know if this goes under old or new, but you had mentioned the test, the cybersecurity test. So I have a question about that. I took the test and the se second part is a 21 question. And it says, thank you. We'll let your IT people know how you did. But I want to know how I did. Yeah, so how can I yeah. get the results of I that? called. You did. Uh, so, so Winnie's the administrator. Yeah, uh, so um, the assessment is more for, for us to learn. And I don't think yeah. they give us individual results. It's for um, us to learn where we need to target our training at. So I can check and make sure. But from my understanding, we don't get individual results from it. It's, it's just a 21 out of 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's looking for themes. Right. Themes of things that people miss. And if there's a huge area that people miss, like yeah. maybe it's a, a message like a about Microsoft or something like that, and everyone missed that question, we know that we need to focus on in training that strengthens mm -hmm. that, that gap. Yeah, more training. Mm -hmm. We'll look into it, but I think it's for the overall for the organization to understand what the guys. Yeah, the assessment should be longer than the training itself. So yeah. <laughs> All right. Any new business? All right. Sure. I would like to mention because of, of um, I don't know if anybody else saw the email that you might bring it up today. We had a gentleman who's in Harry's district who was really upset because he paid his taxes he thought and got rejected and he we searched everything in our files that he could possibly have paid any place he could possibly pay he did not pay on our our internet system or anything and so we told him that and he just knew we were not not correct or not very accurate so we find i would finally said okay i'm going to call one other place and he had paid his taxes not using our ta online tax system but using his bill pay system at his bank which is very different than using our system and when you do that you provide the name of who you're paying and the address and all of that stuff he had evidently i think had done this several years because i finally found out sure enough his had been paid to the public works people and they had rejected it because if they keep it and I think he probably has uh, utility services from them. They could have taken his $6,000 and set it up and he'd been prepaid on utilities for how yeah. many years. <laughs> so instead, they sent the money back, which is what they should have done. So I let him know that. He was just positive I was wrong. And I said, well, look and see, because you have to provide to the banks where it goes. And so he gave me the post office box number and I said, public works. Yeah. Well, I've always used that. Well, I hope he's never used that before because we don't pay through public works. Now, public works, I believe, has sent, sent a letter out to people that did it because 27 people this year paid through public works. Oh, oh, I would say what happens is they... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just curious how they would have been misinformed. Because they that. gave the they wrong brought. information to the bank. And they probably are... Oh, no, but where did they get it from the county? No, I'm sorry. They probably are utility users and they wow, use the public right. from their utility bills too when they pay utilities. So that's what I'm sure he had done. And so um, 
he was upset that he might have a penalty. So we took care of that for him and he, he sent the money. I had him send it here because I didn't know if I trusted him to send it to the post office box. Right. So, and I didn't want him to use it to go through public works, to go through the bank system again. So people, and I encouraged him next year to use our online system to pay instead of the bank. It works out so much better. The bank now takes, used to send the checks. Now they send a file of everybody that's paid to that. So that's what the public works got was a file of 27 parcels that were not theirs. Although they do have them as utility companies or utility customers. So he settled now, but he still isn't convinced that it wasn't our fault. <laughs> that is true. And well, I, and I have to say, I have to commend you because you were incredibly responsive. So I, I forwarded the email Thursday night, Friday morning, you called me and him. So I really appreciate that. I can tell you why I think he means I'm wrong, but I won't. So, <laughs> because that, that could be considered. Okay. Somebody has problems because of their, maybe their occupation. Um, uh, so anyway, thank so you, we, we're, we're set. But anytime anybody asks you, tell them to use our online. Okay, website. I did. It, yeah, is, point, it is so much yeah. better. Don't use Good your point. bank. Cut out the middle man. Because what happens is the bank sometimes does not send a file. They'll send the individual checks. We may get 500 checks that we have to process. That we shouldn't get if they if people will use their online. Are we sending um, a letter to those twenty seven people that? Right. Well, yeah, that was taken care of. Oh, public thank goodness. Sent a letter to them and said, "Don't send it to us. It's not our money." Did they say this is where you can go to do they it? So it said where they believed the money went should go, and that's what the best they could should do. So anyway, so that's taken care of. But just anytime you talk to someone about paying a bill, suggest they use the online pay, pay system. It is so much easier, so much faster. Their money gets paid. First one direct. Yeah. It really is it's a good system. Well, thank you for the follow through and constituent help. Okay. Any other business? Without objection, we are adjourned. Thank you. Thanks, Mary.